Andrew Cuomo's Whoppers Exposed. Welcome to the Holly Fake Entertainment Channel. Disgraced political Andrew Cuomo claims that he was railroaded and forced to resign as New York's governor. But he flunked an electronic lie detector test about damning sexual harassment charges, even as body language experts concluded he was telling whoppers. An exhaustive 165-page report compiled by New York's Attorney General Letitia James backs the claims of 11 gals who say the hard-nosed politician is a creep who sexually harassed and even groped some of them. Yet in a defiant 15-minute resignation speech, Cuomo claimed he was the victim, political analysts say. He describes the report as a political firecracker on an explosive topic that triggered a media stampede and a rush to judgment, forcing him to quit. Cuomo also hinted that he was the target of a plot to get him, adding there will be another time to talk about the truth and ethics of the recent situation involving him. The truth is ultimately always revealed. Now, a voice stress analyst, Michael Silvestri, whose deep sept tech device is considered the most advanced method for identifying truth from human speech, has reviewed the ex-gov's resignation address and finds it full of fibs. According to the expert Cuomo's biggest bald-faced lie that sent spikes indicating deception soaring on the graph analysis paper came just one minute, seven seconds into his speech when he whines, the facts are much different than what's been portrayed. I never touched anyone inappropriately or made inappropriate sexual advances. Just seconds before that, Cuomo attacked the trustworthiness of the damning report, saying, the most serious allegations made me have no credible factual basis in the report. Silvestri pointed out that the report was credible and factual and found that Cuomo was telling another twisted tale. The state investigation included interviews with 179 witnesses and thousands of pages of documents. Cuomo also notes that the report said, I sexually harassed 11 women. That was the headline people heard and saw and reacted to. The reaction was outrage. It should have been. However, it was also false. The analyst was saying that Cuomo believes his assertion that the outrage was false because the anger is against him. The poll thinks that the real outrage is that people believe the stories of the women, Silvestri says. But a huge whopper comes when Cuomo says, I take full responsibility for my actions. The sharp spikes in the voice analysis reveal he does not care what others think and does not take responsibility for his actions, says the expert. Body language expert Patty Wood also reviewed the farewell speech and found big differences in what the politico said and the signs from his body movements and posture. His mouth says one thing, but his body says another. Wood points out that he says that he understands, but he's shaking his head as if to say, no, he does not understand. Also, look at his eyes and see sadness. You see defiance in his posture, but the eyes reveal sadness. Wood also notes that the strain now in his voice compared to his praise TV talks early in the COVID crisis. We watched him a lot last summer when he was doing the COVID-19 briefings and updates and his voice was strong, forceful and smooth, she says. Here it is not. It sounds as if it's his emotional exhaustion is coming out now. His body language reveals that Cuomo is in denial and is very much having trouble accepting what has happened, she concludes. How about you? Do you think he's telling the truth? What do you think happened? Let us know what you think and we can discuss. If you think the video is good, please give us a like and share it with your friends. We will constantly update the latest news in the next videos. Please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. Thank you and goodbye.